Shit, should they die for it? No. I don't think they need to die for it. I think it's just the way we are. We're all shitty fucking people. And the Chinese can be as shitty as they fucking want. We keep going. They're like an abusive boyfriend we keep going back to. Either (laughs) tell them to fuck off. Or just deal with the fact that you're going to get smacked in the eye every Friday night. It's up to you. And we make that choice by fucking buying their stupid shitty crap. It's us. It's on us. I hold us accountable for being fucking retarded. They can be as shitty as they want to be, and we let them get away with it, and that's why they keep doing it. So, there. That's who I hold accountable. You. It's all you. I learned Mm -hmm. it from you. Yeah. I want to eliminate people because of stupidity. I don't want to fucking have anybody fucking live for it (laughs) i want them to just get stupider and stupider and eliminate themselves no because this is what you get when you have that good look what we're stuck down no not good because you're not fucking happy with it either i'm enjoying every (laughs) minute of it i like being at an arm's length from people i still go to work almost maybe (laughs) yeah um (laughs) no it's fine i'm getting used to it I'll deal. I'll figure out how to deal with it. I've been through worse. Like, it, to be honest, this still isn't last year for me. <laughs> so, oh, ain't that the truth? Um, <laughs> you you gotta you, you gotta suffer a little bit to realize how good we still fucking have it. We're not in Iran. It doesn't matter how bad social distancing gets. We're not in Iran. We're mm-hmm. all right. Or <laughs> not arguing that fact. Or Oakville. <laughs> Fucking Oakville. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Oakville. Uh yeah. That was we haven't yelled at each other like that for a good long time. That felt good. Missed it. Yeah. <laughs> I have to admit I've missed it. Like, you know, there was one line on here, Eric. I'm surprised you didn't fucking I, point out. I like on the website where it goes, uh, Eric and Gordon met in 2014. They immediately didn't like each other. Now they do a podcast together. That's, <laughs> and we still don't like each other. It doesn't say like, that we started getting along or something. Just, now they do a podcast. Um, according to this, by the way, the ethical principles yeah. on the World Health Organization says they're independence and impartiality. To conduct one's with the interest of who only in view and under the sole authority of the director general yeah and to and to ensure ensure that personal views and convictions do not compromise ethical principles official duties or the interests of who bullshit wow that is like right there in writing it's all bullshit Hey, you're, it is all right there. Like I was checking to see if it was there because I assumed they were being like, they're smart enough to not put bullshit on their website, but they're not. Yeah, it, it all says they'll tell the truth and fucking whatever. It doesn't say they'll hold people accountable. Um, no. But but you're still pieces of shit for what you do, so. No, yeah. I Yeah, and this is one of the things that I'm coming back to with this whole thing is that I'm, I would be... I would be ecstatically happy to see this entire organization disbanded completely. A lot of people being held held accountable. It seems for being you know, fucking stupid and having thrown in fucking jail for it. The, the and way then, to do that is to elect better governments. Yeah, because you're right. You're totally right. Yeah, we're, we're giving a ton of money to these people. It's like NATO. When when uh, Trump came up, he's like, "Why are we giving all our money to NATO and you guys aren't? Like, either kick in or we're stopping." He's not wrong on yeah. that one. And same mm-hmm. thing, do we need the who? Okay, we know they're shitty. Stop giving them money. G- side with Trumpy on this yeah. one. Trumpy's, what was it? Um, I hate to say it, but what he's country was right it? Again. Ireland? I can't remember. Some country just quadrupled the amount of money they're giving the World Health Organization since Trump pulled out and said they're going to withhold. So they're they quadrupled the amount of money they're giving, and I'm like. Well, You're good a for them. Moron. Uh, Shiva You're will a... punish you when your time comes. <laughs> and I hope to be there. I'll hand Shiva the fucking no, sword. I'm on. You know what? I, the, since COVID started, I'm warming up to Trump. 
<laughs> He's just doing it right in my books. When it comes, yeah, I mean, there's. When he's it, done a he's done a, he's done a lot of shitty things when it comes to this entire COVID oh yeah, thing. No, but he's, he's also been retarded. done a lot of good. But when it comes to yeah. money, I if if it's coming down to money and like how to save a buck, I'm going with Trump every time. Like the dude, oh, he knows every, a thing or two time. about money. Yeah. He's a fucking. I'm surprised he can find the White House every day. Like, and that he <laughs> walks around without swallowing his tongue. But when it comes to money, he knows his <laughs> shit. I wonder how many times a day that actually happens. We just don't know about well, it. I'm sure there's a whole Secret Service department assigned to just that. <laughs> okay, you 12 guys, it's your job to make sure he knows where he's going every day. You guys make sure he doesn't swallow his fucking tongue, all right? Good. <laughs> Everybody get back to work. Uh, so good. And he just uh, walks around thinking he's killing it. I got, uh, no, you're not. You're very, very dumb. <laughs> But if I need money advice, I'm going to him. Because he'll make the money. Yeah. He might do it in the shittiest, shadiest ways, but he'll make you money. The money will be there. That's not a problem. <laughs> you might not want to ask where he got it, but he'll get it. <laughs> do you want me to bring up this race thing with the virus? I don't oh, even yeah. Talk about it. Let's race it do up. You? That's what we need. Is a good dose one? of racism at the end of the show. <laughs> Oh, God, I'm almost embarrassed to fucking even bring this up. But this has been coming up in the news for the last few weeks from uh, only in America would they bring this thing up, saying that they need to bring up data about specifically how this virus is affecting individual like, races. More specifically, this is only about black people. Um, that's it's that's the only race that matters with this one. Um, but they think that the numbers aren't reflecting how this virus affects certain communities. And again, when you look at this straight up face value in the sense of just take the deaths and take nothing else into account, um, you know, like you have places like district of Columbia, 61 of their 80 deaths are black people. Uh, Mississippi, 85 out of 129 deaths, black. Louisiana, yeah, 524 out of 805 are dead. Yeah, but these are all people but, that have a predominantly black population. So, yeah, there's going to be more black people. That's yeah. just stupid fucking statistics being twisted. Right. Yeah. Well, the District of Columbia has an insanely large black population. So, yeah. And you know, they are. You know what state doesn't have a large black population? You know population what else there? the District of Columbia has? Rich fucking white mm. politicians. So. Did they get better health care? Yeah, they do. That's not fucking news. Everybody knows that. That's not a black thing. That's a rich politician bullshit thing. But go to Italy. Go right. to China. Go to fucking uh, who's get, Brazil. Those numbers are not. Those numbers are very different. Canada. Those numbers are different. It's a bullshit statistic. That's right. And why are we? Def- why, to- does it matter? Does it really no. matter at the end of the day what the color of the dead person's skin is? Fuck off. Save humans. Don't start doing it by race you retards fuck off news i was hoping to get to all that rant after i spit out a couple more numbers Keep because going. the numbers are just so humorous to me Go, dude, no, so um, numbers. Okay, um some of my personal favorites uh arizona um they've had 112 deaths four of them were black there you well yeah i i'm so on board now right washington uh, over by Seattle, um, or over uh, where over Seattle is, Seattle. I should say. Uh, yeah. Over by <laughs> Seattle, over where that's, Seattle is. That's how most Americans probably <laughs> think of it, too. It's true. Uh, they've had 517 deaths. 15 of those deaths were black. That's not even 10%. No, right? that's, 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 that's 1%. That's less than 1%. You guys can fucking... Your, your own stats don't make sense in your fucking god damn it. Mm-hmm. This is what makes this is what's insane about the fact that you want to have these things done because because of the fact that you've got things like District of Columbia, Mississippi, Louisiana, South Carolina, Georgia, and Alabama were a little more predominant in the and the uh, more black people are. That's like saying in the Northwest oh. Territories, all the deaths are Inuit. Oh, really? Well, fuck. Right? It, clearly, this is a racist fucking in Antarctica, COVID thing now. All the deaths were penguins. 
<laughs> Fuck off. This is just... Oh my god. Yeah, it comes from 5G towers, and it's a fucking white supremacist. Fuck you. God damn it. This is just news suffering, like, just trying to make something interesting that's not at all. First of all, fuck you for dragging race into it. News, not gore. News organizations. Why is that a thing? Mm -hmm. It's the human fucking race that's being affected by this thing. It's not any one race. We're all getting fucked in the world. Ask the World Health Organization. But you know what's you know what's funny about this? So you've got out of the out of the uh, the country out of the whole country. I'm on the still You've on the website. I've a rate how of, long we've been going. Sorry, we've got out of the. the they've whole, got a rate of. We're what? talking America, the country of America. Um, America, the country of America. God bless America. Out of the country, the country of America. You've got a rate of thirty, nearly thirty percent of the deaths are African Americans, which only account for fourteen point two percent of the population. Yeah. Uh, so thirty percent of the people have died when you only have fourteen percent of the population dead. So when you look at it of uh, that very specific thing, don't look at any but where the states are, where the deaths are. You just look at that number saying, Wow, this is affecting a lot more black people than is, is anybody else. That's because but the funny thing is, this is what none of this article is about. Go ahead. Mm hmm. Hang yeah, on. Go ahead before I when you look at things like in like in um in the New Mexico where they have a very high uh rate of um native americans in New Mexico yeah so like 37% of the state's cases were native americans wow what a crazy i never would have guessed that that's so weird, uh, right? And if, if, it's, if it's breaking news to you that a lot of the black people in America are treated in, in, inequitably and don't have the same access to good health care as white people, and it's not other races and that was just fucking white people. So, yeah, Americans mm -hmm. treat black people like shit. That's not fucking news. That's it's just fact. Shitty. It's not a good thing. Don't miss understand what i'm saying it's a fucking terrible bullshit thing that that happens but it's not news that it happens now here's one they'll make you laugh arizona we just covered arizona four out of the 112 deaths four of them were black people that hits their their stats because that covers their narrative yeah of course but yeah out of that 112 deaths taking out the four so that leaves out of the 112 taking out the four leaves out of 98 deaths out of the 98 deaths left over 30 of them were Native Americans. And how many of them were actually COVID? And we're not just fucking your news guy going, oh, yeah, yeah see, it's COVID. Six. <laughs> yeah, so out of all the deaths in America, only six were COVID. I, that's probably right. I wouldn't be overly surprised. Shiva I'm starting, I... will now look favorably on your crops for being right with that answer. That would be a fucked up game show, hey? Wait, if you get the answer wrong, Shiva will fuck up your crops. Oh my god! Like the, the that could be a lot of fun to watch. Game show of the gods. You just like you're <laughs> on there, and if you're wrong, you gotta put a spear through your face, and then your crops will suck. <laughs> With the host from that fucking weakest link. <laughs> oh, that bitch! Oh, it's you mean and cruel. Shiva does not look favorably on your crops. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Fuck it. Let Greta oh, host it. So good. Let Greta host it. How dare you? How dare you? Shiva, me, Shiva. Punish you. Shh. With the mini under the Shiva. Fuck off. Shiva kicked their ass. You guys How are all dumb. I? Go <laughs> listen to the. Go join the World Health Organization, you retards. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah you oh, uh, I so hate funny. the news just I now nah, I mean, this is a bad time to have a news show when you hate the fucking news but yeah uh, that's true I, there you go kids, oh, yeah. I'm just I gonna get I angry to and angry this is gorgeous what Gord's doing is actually incredibly helpful and I hope you guys are getting it um because he's presenting the news the way it's presented in the world and when you hear it through the Eric and Gord filter and go 
Wait a minute. <laughs>